Welcome to Bosnia, Yay! new country for us. Now it might seem strange to make your first stop in a new country in a supermarket, in this case a hypermarket. Now we feel local. Yes, please. Don't do it without uh, yogurt. Mm. Yeah. This is what happens when Andre and Lisa get stuck into doing just one thing. Just one thing, one small thing, hey. That's one thing. Sure, there's a sin not going around this town. It's really a nice place. Welcome to Bosnia! Yeah. New country for us. So we just were talking about it and you can, you know, Get up in the morning, have a swim in the fjord, say, oh, let's go to Bosnia. We're going to to Bosnia. Bosnia so we're in Bosnia, not for a long time, but we're definitely going to Mostar if all goes well. If it gets too hot, we're going to make a beeline for the north. But first we have to find some food, so we have to find a supermarket. And we have to find local currency because Bosnia does not use the euro. And there's quite a few things that are cash-based. Interesting, we came through the border crossing now. They didn't ask for our vehicle papers or insurance. I held them in my hand and he was quite happy with that. You look trusting. Oh, yeah. Of course I did. Welcome to our channel. We're Andre and Lisa. Over the last 20 years, we have traveled together to more than 40 countries. Five years ago, we embarked on a long-term sabbatical and have been nomadic ever since. For most of the past two years, we have been exploring Western Europe with our motorhome. This year, we plan to make our way through more of Europe towards Denmark for summer. We'll be heading south for winter and just maybe make it to Morocco. So hit that subscribe button and join our adventure. First mission of the day, shoppings, and gotta get some cash. Now it might seem strange to make your first stop in your country in a supermarket, in this case a hypermarket. But we find it actually quite interesting to go into a big store, spend an hour to walk around and just get a feel for a what stuff costs you, know? Just gotta make sure you get in the right, right shop and sometimes you get completely lost. Like, I don't even know where Lisa is. I'm in the tool section. We haven't even shopped for groceries yet. We're just browsing. We're shopping to buy anything. Geezers. In basins. In traps. How long have we been in the shop, Lisa? I don't know. <laughs> How long have we been in the shop, Lisa? <laughs> This time it's not me, it's you that's shopping. Uh, we're buying socks, pans. Look at my kid socks, you're getting a new pan. Again. And my new favorite chocolate. Salted Box peanut up. chocolate. Ooh, okay, let's go buy some groceries. And quickly. of course some rakia. It's, it's four o'clock, oh day one. That was uh, ridiculous, longer shop. Emma, let's go on the road. We still need to find some cash, but we figure out maybe it's easier just to exchange uh, some euros for the ro local currency because uh, the minimum ATM withdrawal fee is like yeah, four euros. euros. Yeah. So, hmm. Trebinia is actually like a wine region in this part of Bosnia, but we decided just to stop very close to the shops we came from <laughs> next to the river. Now, this bridge can probably be a bit busy but look on that side there's an oh swimming vibe but maybe tomorrow morning first thing I'll go check that out but you can dip into the water here look at some neighbors and if it doesn't get too noisy I think we'll just stay here and there's Lisa eating already oh my god she was probably on supper at some point this is a 
real life. This is van life. It's hashtag van life. But uh, we don't risk it because we're realists. No way. But what a view though. What a view. Is it, is it cheating to drink? What is this? That's Serbian it's beer. It's Serbian beer, but you buy it here. And ironically, it's cheaper here than Serbia. Yeah. Mm. Alcohol is a lot cheaper here than Serbia. And definitely a lot cheaper than Montenegro. The top tip. Stuck up in Bosnia, in Herzegovina. Fuel's also quite cheap here. A lot of people stuck up here before going into Croatia. So I was just listening to people talking in the shop. There was a lot of English being spoken, so a lot of tourists. Mm. And they were all getting ready to go to Croatia, buying bikinis and sun hats and sun oh, yeah. dresses, things yeah. like that, inflatables. That's why we just got stuck in the shops. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Man, look at the bugs. Oh my God, close. Wait, 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 oh, wait. Right. Another picture. One more Insta picture. Okay, we're going for a swim. I'm going for a swim. And then we are hoping for a semi-peaceful night. Now we should know better than being in a place that's so busy, but... Bon job, no. <laughs> we woke up to a little Italian van squeezed in tight with us and another French motorhome in front of us. But beautiful morning in the beautiful town of Tribinje. Tribinje? Tribinje? I don't Tribinje. Know. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's the southernmost town in Bosnia Herzegovina. Just look at this place. I mean, how cool is it to have a swimming pool like this in a town? Very neat. And right across the road, and I thought it was an ice cream shop. <laughs> My ignorance. A massive bunker. How crazy is yeah. this? Hey? Crazy. Oh, and I'll tell you what, it's eight o'clock in the morning oh, it's and today. it's already hot. Yeah. So we're doing uh, what we don't normally do. We go for a walk and we're walking all along this river for well, less than a kilometer. To, there's a old Turkish bridge and we're gonna have a poke around the old town a little bit and oh. we're up before breakfast and I'm spotted an ice cream shop oh yeah no no you can only have breakfast ice cream if you're in Sicily those are the rules <laughs> <laughs> Very, very pretty part of uh, the town here next to the river. See the old town next to us. Don't know much about the history, unfortunately. I tried to read up on it, but I don't find much. There's a, I guess, somebody famous or significant. I absolutely love little villages and towns and places where the old people get out in the morning, either go for a stroll along a river like this or sit on a bench, gather mm. together. I don't know why, but that just gives me such a wonderful feeling about a place. Look how beautiful this is. Wow. Oh no, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit disappointed. All the way along this river, they've got these water mills, wheels, on either side of a little rapid and weir. And I really thought they were still functional. <laughs> no, I think these guys are relics. And they were used to generate, what, electricity. So on the other side as well, but you see it everywhere. And then just further on, you can see the ancient bridge. Construction of this bridge ended between 1650 and 1690. So it was a very long building process. And then it was rebuilt in 1966. This is so cool. Did people drive over this? <laughs> it was like horse and cart, maybe. Japan, this Panda. is so cool. Here you go. 
Wow. Without a specific plan in mind, we're just going to take a quick gander through. It's gander, I would. I should be using through the old town and lead us on the hunt for either a bakery or ice cream shop, whichever comes first. I mean, just look at this. There's nobody around here. This is so, so beautiful. And the best part is it's in the shade. Check the massive, massive rock roofs. Oh my word. Wow, that's got a hectic. That must be so heavy. Mm, incredible. We got local money. So this is not something we do ever, is go to an exchange office. But interestingly, the convertible mark in Bosnia is pegged to the euro. So the rates are pretty consistent. And if you go to exchange office and you want to change small amounts, like 50 mm. or 100 euro, it's actually cheaper than going to an ATM because all the ATMs charge you about eight marks. Eight to 16 marks. Depends where you go. You mm. can find a free one. We haven't found a free one yet. And your bank will charge you 1.7% conversion if you don't withdraw some currency. So we probably paid the premium of one euro on the value of 50 euros. Which is not bad at all. So now we're in a local currency, now we can get ice cream and baked goods. This is a market, let's go check it out. <laughs> oh, look at the figs. <laughs> Sir, yeah, it's cheese. Mm, <laughs> Definitely a very local little market. Mostly very fruits and vegetables, so. local produce, just outside the old town. It's very, very cool, actually. I love it when we just stumble upon mm. something like this. It's best super. when you explore a place with yeah. having no idea of what you want to see. Yeah, if we were good, we would buy some fruit for breakfast instead of ice cream or pastries. Now no, it's really time to find something to eat. Okay, let's walk this way again. We often get comments, you should go to that restaurant, you should go do this. But you know what? We've actually found a very intriguing challenge in this part of the world. And that is that smoking is allowed everywhere. So if you sit at a restaurant, the odds that you're going to be engulfed in smoke is 100%. Whether it's inside or outside mm -hmm. makes no difference. No offense to people who love to smoke, but it's a big challenge. You know, we always try and find a place where it's a little bit out of the smoking zones, but it's almost impossible. And that's often why we would grab something, go sit in a public space where we can sort of control the environment. Mm -hmm. with, uh, super cool little place. Very nice. I and like we still haven't found anything to eat. <laughs> The emergency burek stop. I don't know how you're supposed to find these places. I and mean, this is literally just around a corner in a tiny little alley. I saw one half sign that said burek. That would look so amazing. This was six mark for the two, which is three euro for the two. Mm hmm. It's pretty good. It's a good business. Mm. Well, Ciao. Ciao. Hi. Hello. Ciao. Hello. <laughs> Uh, other people's food always looks better. Always, man. Always. <laughs> now we feel local. Yes, please. Don't do it without uh, yogurt. Mm. Getting quite busy. Mm. Also, yeah, thinking that around 10 o'clock is definitely the everybody comes for breakfast. Well, like, look at this ooh. one. It's happening. Yay, I got my ice cream. Yo, exactly. It wasn't the first thing we ate today, but we good. <laughs> Wow. It's like a memorial area, I'm guessing. Mm. Nice little park, eh? Lovely little park. Wow, nice and shady. You know it's going to be a good day when you have liquor ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> it's going to be hot. Slightly loud spot, but gorgeous here next to the beach lake. We had to stop for a quick coffee. And I mean, why wouldn't you hang around? This is one euro coffee. And I bring you a glass of water. And you bring you some water. And look at this place. And just now I'm going to put my cozy on and go for a swim. Definitely. This looks like a really good party. Sure, this is sin not to hang around this town. It's really a nice place. Maybe we'll just stay in our day. I don't think we should just stay here today. It's really nice. Lovely. See how it goes. Might get a bit hot, like but let's see. This is the blonde cocktail. We picked it up at Bingo Mall. Thank you, Bingo Mall. No, we didn't actually. But what does it taste like? Is it very different to the cocktail? Ooh. Find this herbal extracts. I don't know. Yeah, different. We're leaving this town and we're going towards Mostar, but we're going to make a stop halfway and look for some water and shade. Uh, we're two friends. Let's go see. Okay, let's get out of here. Very different nature and landscape here. Anything we've seen so far in the Balkans. The roads are pretty good, 
fairly quiet and it's very green and lush and the, the mountains and the hills reminds me a little bit of like the parts of Eastern Cape in South Africa. Yeah. Well, I just got to be super impressed with a new road, but I see that it's so new it's still <laughs> under construction. So new it's not yet finished. I guess we'll just figure it out as we go, eh? There's definitely traffic in both directions, but you know. Um, cows helping a little bit with the grass cutting. Is it a good spot? Okay, we got a good spot for Millie. We got our friends. We got another random guy sitting on a bench. And we got the river. Okay, look at this. Oh, the water is so clear. Definitely gonna be going for a swim. Good morning to a beautiful blue sky and sunny day. We woke up this morning at like a picnic spot just about seven kilometers outside the town of Blagash. Didn't film anything yesterday. We were spending some time with friends. Quite a nice spot here actually. Very peaceful. We do expect it to fill up quite uh, rapidly during the day as people from the local area come out here. Lisa's being active. I'm being lazy. I've got a few things to do. I need to change the battery on our sensor on our gas tank. I was complaining. We decided to try to put some UV film on our side windows in the front. Maybe we'll get that done quickly this morning. Let's get busy. Alright, so here's the culprit. Battery's low. We bought this roll of 30% UV film. We're going to put it on the side windows, hopefully to help with a bit of heat management and glare. First step is to clean these guys. Now this can turn out into an absolute disaster or very spectacularly successful, or a bit of both for a while and then it'll fall off. But this is so cheap, we bought this three meter piece for, I don't know, five euros maybe even. And it even comes with a little squeegee and a cutting tool. So, and we've done this before, not in a car though. And hopefully Lisa's gonna be awake. <laughs> we can attempt this disaster. Mm. <laughs> You're just gonna go for it. Okay, let's see if we can put the stuff in the <laughs> I think there's a reason why we pay people to do this. Yeah, yeah, I think it's enough. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Actually, you can't really see. This is a 30% tent. I think it's quite nice. So a little bit of water here and there, but that should dry out by itself. Okay, now the other side. All right, window film done. I think you took it You can't see it yet, but it looks much uh, more interesting. Oh, it's very bright day, not so bright day. Sun's just come out, so we're gonna need some attention. Well, next project, chaos. What is this, you may ask? 
Oh, he just removed the, the cushion. So this is a contraption I made for a number of reasons. The idea was you can pull it out and then, I don't know where the cushion is. That cushion stays there. This one is velcroed on and fits on here. And it creates like this day bed vibe, just so you can put your feet up. We actually never use it like this. Oh, Lisa does like to use it if I do this, and you can put your feet up on it. So, no. Initially, we put this weird rubber coating on it, but it's just glued on. It doesn't stay on, so no, we're going to pull it. No, you're not. Make bubbles. And there's some sticky stuff, so we can use that to put the foam on. So we can take that off, put some foam on here, cover it with like a vinyl thing, and then it'll be nice and cushy to be a bit more comfortable for Lisa's feet. That's the theory, anyway. All right, we'll do a demonstration afterwards, okay? Yeah. This is what happens when Andre and Lisa get stuck into doing just one thing. Just one thing, one small thing, hey. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's, es it's escalated. Now the whole bench isn't. It's definitely that much. escalated. Hmm. But the truth is, let's get this done. And that's the end result. Lisa will give us a demonstration of how it's supposed to work. Yes, I see. Sit over here. Lift this guy, pop that guy through. He goes halfway, and then you can sit nicely and watch TV mm. with your feet up, or you can go all the way up, all the way up, wink, put your feet out, and you put your feet out like that. Nice. Oh, that is so much better, and mm. look how nice it is. And this was just cut from a weird little beach mat thing that we bought because we couldn't find something suitable to actually fit this. And it's even got cool travel. It's got the map. Yeah, it's got this weird like and effect, the light plays weird games on it though. It's plasticky, so it should be easy to clean. Mm. No, it works well. It's very comfortable. Very simple. Good Process. job, baby. I'm very happy. Are you still going to Mostar? What's it now? <laughs> oh, dude, it's 2.30. I'm going to Mostar River. That's the closest. Oh, it did say 3.30 bus, so... No. Okay, come. Let's finish. Oh, finish! So Almost cool. time for a beer. I think it's time for a beer. Let's stop screwing around and give me a beer. <laughs> come, look at this uh, window from the outside. Can I look at you, camera? You might have to go for a swim. <gasps> it's so dark from the outside. Yeah, it gives a lot of pro oh, wow. So this is now just 30%. Obviously, you see from the outside, you also get the double effect of this side and yeah. that side. Whereas from the inside, it doesn't look half as dark. No. I was concerned it was going to be too dark from the inside. No, you don't get the effect at all. But it's nice. I think we missed our bus by about seven minutes. <laughs> The more start. So the time has come, all our chores are done. We gotta take a dip. We're still in the same place. Beautiful place here actually. Um I did show you around this morning. It's like this picnic area slash riverside. Now if you go further down, that's where most people hang out in the day, because that's sort of easy access to river, shallow, like a slipway. We're just gonna plonk in here. Now this water is icy. It's probably 10 degrees, maybe even less. It's icy. Good, eh? Oh, what time are you at the top? You're cold. You need to go back in. Yeah, I'm already thinking like, oh, oh it's defrosted. Turn right. Us. This is the main road to Blagaj. Oh, no, I think this is the main road to Blagaj. No. no. This is the main road to Blagash. Oh, and we saw a massive bus stop through here. The problem in this country is that I think most of these camp spots were made for coming with a car and a tent. And they've now just turned them into auto caravan stops. And they're not suitable to drive in here with a camper. Let's go see what this is. Will you be able to turn around here now? Oh, I know. Find a nice little campsite here now, right, right on the river. So we're going to turn around and we're going to be able to park parallel right there. 35 mark for 24 hours, which is 17 euro. So not as cheap as our 5 euro option, but I think it's still pretty good value for this area, which is so touristy. Now this is going to be a peaceful night's sleep listening to this river. Wow. Oh, even got stairs. Almost pretty we have this cool shady riverside parking and then we're gonna go out okay maybe we should close oh, oh big, God, big flying yeah, insect now yeah, we opened the what goes for yeah, instagram effect but that was a bad idea that's why we prefer to be inside <gasps> no, that's ah! this is the downside of you visit places that's quite popular and it's our tourist season so the little campsite that we wanted to go and stay in 
turns out they use their whole area as daytime parking for cars. Obviously they can make much better money that way. When you don't get a place in the place that you're driving to, it's very hard in the last minute once you're stuck in traffic to try and find an alternative place to drive to. Normally we have a plan B and a plan C, but in the small area it's impossible. And then we're driving, you can't stop and do more homework or look where else to go. You just have to drive and that's quite freaky. I hate that. We said we're going to go visit the monastery and the source of this ice cold water, but we are not going to do this in this video. So you have to wait until the next video. And yes, we are not camping or stopped where we thought we would, but that's complicated. And that's just the way life is when you do this. In the next video, we will maybe go see the source of this water and we will maybe go to Mostar. But we decided we're going to take the bus. But as always, thanks for watching. Remember to click the subscribe button and leave us a comment. What else must they do? Join us in the next one for the alternative. No, no, oh, oh. there's no alternative. Why is the lens so buggered? Don't stick your finger in the, you know, amateur hour. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time and share this video with a friend. Okay, this is getting silly. Goodbye. Ciao.